you know, so so for me, see the other part of it is this. There's a tendency to talk about these these particular um, wars or, or or conflagrations, whatever you like to call them, or massacres even at times, as just simply a a, a competition uh, or a fight between two opposing parties, the government and the rebels. Right. And so so for 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 me, for instance, I lost some friends when I did my post naturally. Uh, because some of them were Syrian, uh, or some of them they they, they grew up there, uh, but it seemed to me that I lost them because it was as if the only option I had was that I had to come out and say I support the rebels. I said no, because they said okay, if I don't support the rebels, I don't support the Syrian people. I said no, 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 I know I support the Syrian people, but you know who I support? I support the overwhelming majority of Syrians, those people who are fleeing, those people who don't want to fight, those people who just simply want to live a life. Right where 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 they're they're flourishing, they feel safe. Right, you understand? They they they're able to keep their family safe. The That's innocent the civilians, the yeah, right, yeah. Right. So we forget about that that third group, right? And usually it's the majority of the people. They don't want war. You know, they're not concerned with power. You know, they just want to feel free, feel safe. They want to be able to eat. And they want to 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 keep their family safe. Right, and so, so, so those under that unfortunately, this is what happens too often: is that I'm either with this, I'm either with the government, I'm with the the elite, the regime, or I'm with those who are fighting for freedom, the freedom fighters. You see, and and I just said, well, no, there's a third group we have to keep in mind. Yeah, and again, I just want to clarify that the sheikh is not saying that he's not for people who fight for their freedom, but he's saying right. is that in the context that we're living in now. The freedom, the people who happen to be the freedom fighters end up in many times being funded by somebody or there's an initiative why they're becoming powerful, right? For instance, um, you know, the support, some some rebel groups, you know, as far as uh, even when ISIS was concerned, some of them broke off and were being supported by America. The rebels, at first they were enemies and then they were friends. And that means there's this game happening. But the unfortunate thing is innocent Muslims and innocent human beings get caught up in the middle. And your concern is, I can definitely invest my hopes and help for the people that are innocent. For the yes. rebel groups, I'm not saying that you shouldn't rebel against oppression. That's not what I'm saying. But right. as the political right. engine now is moving, my feelings and my heart and my tears are for those people who are innocent women, children, old people, and just people who have nothing right. to do with anything. They're just trying to fill their stomachs and survive. And Sheikh, yeah, uh, if I understand you correctly, you're saying, if I knew... If you knew that there is a group that is purely, you know, is not acting on the interests of anyone else, that they are only supported by themselves, their own um, ingenuity and their own organization, and they were truly fighting for the Syrian people, whether they are... Um, let's even one up yeah, that not yeah, one up but let's yeah. just make that more clear the people who only do it for the sake of Allah yeah right they're they fighting no other for the sake interest. of Allah and that they have they're not influenced by anyone you would be behind them not necessarily I mean it's, 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 it's an interesting question like these questions were asked in the past too like to Imam Malik Imam Anas Rajallah An so, so, so once uh, Imam Malik had highlighted that that you have to be careful about taking sides when you actually have these groups hmm. they they emerge and so he actually said that to one particular questioner he said that he said that you know that the 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 individual the one the challenger has the tendency to present him or herself or in this case him usually himself as the uh the more pious one the more the individual who actually has the integrity right see you know but then after they they gain power other things come out. We, this my mind was very, you know, sophisticated yeah. in terms of his political thought. And then on another occasion, someone asked him about if a group actually had risen up, right, is to rebel against the Muslim governor, uh, who shot whose side should they take? Yes. So in Mathematic responded, he said, Well, if this if this challenger is somebody of the of the caliber of like Omar ibn Abdul Aziz, <laughs> then he says, Yes, go ahead and join them, right? Uh uh, but he said, if he's not, then just leave them to 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 let let a law handle it. You know, let leave them. As a matter of fact, his wording was, uh, leave them to fight one another. You know, let one oppressor take vengeance from another oppressor. You know, and then whoever wins in the court, then we give bay out to that whoever that person is. You see, so 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 again, it's not. This is also an issue. Like the the choices, I either have to be. It, 
it goes back to what I said before. Uh, either I am against um, re 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 uh, rebellion or I'm for it, you see. Yeah. But it's not, again, there's always a neutral party. Even if you go back to the issue of Imam Hussein, uh, 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 I mean, in that particular instance, you know, when Imam Hussein, he um, took his position, which is one can actually challenge whether or not it was even considered rebellion, but, you know, that's a different story. But but, but you know, when he took his position, there were others, Sahaba, who did the same, meaning that they didn't give bay'ah to Al Yazid. They didn't give bay'ah to Al Yazid, including Abdullah ibn Omar. Right. But Abdullah ibn Omar, he did not also join Imam Hussein's rebellion, nor did he join uh, uh, Abdullah ibn, ibn Zubayr's rebellion, you see, uh, against Al Yazid. He didn't join it. You know, that he took, and actually, they were advising Imam Hussein. Say, don't go. This <laughs> Abdullah Abbas was saying, don't go. Uh, Omar, Omar, uh, Abdullah bin Omar said, don't go. Uh, Abu Waqid Laythi, Jabir ibn Abdullah said, don't do it. Uh, um, uh, even uh, um, um, his, his brother, Muhammad ibn Hanafiya, his brother, don't do it. Imam al Hassan, before he died, was actually pleading with Imam Hussein, don't do it. <laughs> right, you see, because Imam Hussein didn't like the fact that al Hassan had turned over uh, the. Uh, the uh, the uh, rule to to to, to, to right. So, in, so in conclusion, no one can say for sure. Right. We have the greats, the greats right. of our ummah in conflict about whether rebellion should be done or not. Yes. No one can say for sure that you uh, that w whether the rebellion is the best action to do or not. There's always going to be disagreement on that. Is that what well, you're saying? Well, no, I'm not depending on what that. games actually... because I think they were also very careful. Even with the issue with Hussein radiallahu anh, is because there's the political game is very very uh, a very complicated animal to deal with. Right? Yeah. So it's, it's as far as picking sides sometimes is a very very difficult thing, and when you have a whole group of people pick a side, right? That can be very very difficult, right? Well, the, the history books say about Imam Hussein is that their major concern with Imam Hussein was that the people of Kufa would not go and actually give them the support that they were promising, right? Yeah. Because they did the same thing with his father before. I even have thought it. They said, "Come, come, we're going to support you. We're going to and so and against Muawiyah, and they didn't support him. You know, they're going to support Imam Hussein against the Yazid. They did, they, 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 and they also did the same thing. They were fearful of him. That was one of the main things they were fearful of. You see, uh, and um, so, 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 but about Ahlul Sunnah, it's very clear that rebellion is not lawful unless, unless, right? You actually have." Uh, a, 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 a organized and well enough organized group, you know, who actually has significant amount of armament or the capacity to actually overthrow. Yeah. Right? In that particular case, you know, that's a different story altogether. You know.